good day everybody i am finally taking a couple days sorry <laughs> you sit there and get out of my space sit sit there you go. good girl i am officially taking a few days off and i'm gonna head down into paradise valley which is actually where i am right now i didn't bother filming anything on the way down here because i've showed it before and well, I just don't feel like filming coming down here. But anyway, tonight I'm going to stay at this campsite that is right off of the Yellowstone River. And it's called uh, Carbella Recreation Site. Now, they used to not charge for staying here. So, I'm probably about to find out whether or not they're going to charge or not. But fortunately, this early in the season... I'm fairly confident I'm not going to have any problems finding a spot to stay at. Since it's only 6 o'clock in the evening right now, I'm going to set up. And then we're going to head down into uh, Tom Miner Basin and just take a quick drive down there and see what it looks like over there. I haven't been there in years, and um, from what I remember, it's a very pretty drive. So we'll hop in my UTV and then make our way down there. So let's hit it. Well, this is uh, turning out to be quite a beautiful day here. When I was driving down, it was looking very ominous. There was a lot of dark, dark storm clouds that were right over this area. But yeah, look at this. It's beautiful. A little on the chilly side. It's windy as usual here in Paradise Valley. That's actually the reason why it was called Paradise Valley back in the 1800s was not because of the incredible beauty, but actually, it was because the wind would keep uh, the horse flies and the deer flies and the mosquitoes off of the cattle during the ranching days down here. So yeah, the more you know. <laughs> Let's um, jump in the UTV before it gets too late here and take a quick trip down Tom Minor Basin. Hey Let's go load up. Come on, over here. Come on up. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Okay. Watch your face. You ready, Zena? Are you ready to go? Unfortunately, it looks like this is as far as I can go down this road. Um, not sure when it opens up again. I guess it was a nice quick trip down here. I went to pull out my big camera when I saw those elk to get some better shots, some closer shots. But <laughs> I opened it up and went to press play and it said no SD card. I 
forgot to put them back in there. So, oops. So yeah, anyway, let's uh, make our way back down the mountain. It's about six miles from here. Let's get back down there and cook up some grub for dinner. Looks like we got some rain coming. Best get inside. Did you have a tasty dinner, Zeta? Did you have a tasty dinner? Uh. Well, for dinner tonight, it's going to be some some tasty poblano pepper and corn chowder, which was really expensive. Surprise, surprise. The cost of everything is going up. That little one serving of soup is going to cost me $5. And then <clears throat> everything else is going to be a little bit cheaper than that. But, yeah. Ooh, <laughs> looking good. I got myself some delicious fresh sourdough here and uh, going to grate up some cheese and have some delicious grilled cheese and poblano pepper and corn chowder soup tonight. I'm getting real fancy. Yeah, have a good night and I'll see you in the morning. auto grinders they don't grind a bean as consistently as this thing so I guess I'm a victim of my own snootiness when it comes to the proper grind well top of the morning to everybody I ended up getting a wonderful night's sleep last night for some reason the internet stopped working at about 11 o'clock and after trying again and again I finally gave up and thought maybe this is a, a sign that I should go and get some actual sleep for once instead of falling down YouTube rabbit holes until 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> As for today's activities, I'm, I'm kind of torn right now. As of at this moment, the only thing that I've filmed that has of anything of interest for me personally to be able to bring out to you guys was that trip down Tom Minor Basin yesterday, which was nice. You know, we saw some elk, but that's about it. I mean, there's some beautiful mountains back there as well. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty torn as for what to do because I I don't like getting caught in, in the repetition. Like you've seen me make coffee a thousand times already. And sometimes I get a little bit more creative with it. Um, I wish I could cut to some B-roll right now, actually. Ooh. Is that a lens flare? Wow. I'm just like J.J. Abrams. Whew. 
Ooh. Cue the CGI. I do really, really want to take the road that goes down to Cody, Wyoming, because I've heard it is amazing, and I haven't done it yet. So that would be a potentially cool thing to do if I time it out correctly, and I'm not driving through Yellowstone midday, because that's the worst time to try to go through there. So anyway, yeah, let's uh, enjoy this coffee. It's looking really nice out there. Today's supposed to be a pretty nice day. Um, not so much tomorrow and the next day, but I think maybe that's when I'll start hunkering down more in the camper and relaxing. Alrighty, folks, so today I decided that I'm going to make up um, one of my favorite meals that I've ever found out. Um, it's surprisingly easy to make, especially if you have a crock pot, but unfortunately I do not have a crock pot today, so... I'm going to try to make it for the first time over the stove. And the meal that I'm making is called uh, pork carnitas. It is a traditional Mexican style method of preparing meat where you take a pork shoulder and then you marinate it with various herbs and spices and orange, and a little bit of cinnamon, some cumin, and then slow cook it overheat for several hours until pretty much comes to the point of just falling apart and it is absolutely delicious i don't know if anybody has ever i'm sure many of you have actually had carnitas so you know how good it is so the first step is sauteing up some onions so you're going to take a couple tablespoons of oil i prefer to use a higher temp oil like walnut oil because it reduces the chances of smoking out my whole camper. Then after a couple minutes of sauteing your pepper or your onions and letting them get nice and clear, you will add in your garlic. Sharp knives are wonderful, aren't they? All right, looks like the onions are getting close. So, the onions are now just starting to turn translucent. My camper is gonna smell for days <laughs> of garlic and onions, but that's okay. It'll be worth it. The next thing we have to do is we have to squeeze up blood oranges that I was originally going to just eat by themselves, but I decided to just use these instead. They do smell delicious. After you get your juice, we're gonna set that aside and then we're gonna break out our break out our pork shoulder. Look at the color of that stuff, isn't that cool? Now this is a local pork shoulder from the John Smith Ranch over in I believe it's Big Timber or maybe it's Wilsall, Montana. Or maybe it's Whitehall. I'm not sure. But regardless very tasty pigs and I love their bacon and it's always good to support a local rancher if you can help it there's no sense in there's no sense in spending pretty much the same amount of money um, and then buying a buying pork that comes from who knows where what the recipe calls for is cutting this into one inch cubes Sure is nice having a sharp blade. <laughs> I think I've said that several times already today. Okay, that looks pretty decent. And then they say to use about a tablespoon of cumin. Cumin's definitely one of those spices that you don't want to go overboard on. 
because it's a very strong herb. Okay, something like that. I take it and mix it together. And then we're gonna take this and throw it in the skillet. Now we're gonna mix it around a little bit. Get the onions and the garlic all mixed in with the pork. Ah! And then we're gonna take our orange juice and add that in. We're going to take a cinnamon, cinnamon stick, add that in, add some fresh cracked pepper, some salt, and then cover. And now we play the waiting game. Only six more hours to go. Does anybody else feel like this book is starting to come true? <laughs> more and more every day. Wow. I've got my max homeless situation going on here. I really need a haircut. I just wish I had enough hair to comb it over onto the top. <laughs> Do it grandpa style. Oh, 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 yes, sirree, Bob. That is looking pretty good. Oh, my stars. This looks really good. I think I'm going to eat very well tonight. Oh, it just falls apart, too. Pretty easy to make too, folks. Now we're just gonna shred these delicious cubes of flavor up. Now that it's all shredded up with some forks, it's time for the next few steps of making this delicious meal that I have planned for tonight. I am excited for this. This looks incredible. This looks just like uh, traditional street tacos right here. I cannot wait. A little bit of mango salsa. Okay, here we go. The most elaborate meal I've ever cooked in my truck camper. Mmm. Dios mío. Well, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this by myself. Sorry, folks. I don't think you want to watch me eat food. So, um, this is going to be in the end of this video. Uh, but stay tuned because tomorrow morning I'm going to leave and head south and go and explore 
some areas that I don't know if I've ever really seen before. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video, and I'll see you next time.